The lush Temecula Valley is home to over 30 vineyards and home to a small but growing community of Muslims. The community started in 1998-99 and, uh, and a few families get together and uh, they want to perform their religious services on Friday and they carry on for a year or so until they find a place in old town here in Temecula and they rented the space like 1200 square feet and uh, a small little office to get together with their families for that purpose, establishing the prayers and getting to know each other. Uh, we conducted the services there for about two or three years and then uh, the place become small and more people get to know and participate in the service and then we move to the current place where we are right now, <coughs> this industrial place. So the Islamic center here and the religious services that we conduct for the people around here, it become a necessity as much as a needed for a social uh, aspect of the people life. People want to get to know each other, their families, their children, and they want to associate. <coughs> and that's how it grew on to be. Now, uh, we are renting this place for the last seven, eight years, and we're spending a lot of money on the rental. And we do have a piece of land from 2000. We purchased that piece of land uh, with the intention of building our own Islamic center mosque and other services that we can provide for the people in that land. So we thought a couple of years ago that why not we initiate the process of uh, start developing that land into uh, an Islamic center. But in the summer of 2010, plans to build the new mosque encountered an obstacle. With bullhorns, American flags, and cardboard signs denouncing Islam, about two dozen protesters showed up across the street from the Islamic Center in Temecula, just as worshipers were arriving to pray. They're protesting because the Islamic Center wants to build a mosque right here in the city. Most of the people involved in the mosques are not the saints they claim they are. I, I just don't agree with their beliefs. Okay, um, don't they have freedom of religion though? They do have freedom of religion, just like we do, but, but that's not what this is about. I have witnessed what happens to many nations in the world. By expansion of Islamic ideology, they destroy the community, destroy the country.